safety in numbers and as one fifth of the colourfully camp pop band steps our next guest learned how to work a crowd with a little bit of help from her friends but she's currently learning that as a solo singer the stage can be a lonely scary place particularly when you're singing opera in Italian <laughs> Please welcome Claire Richards. May we just say, isn't she impressive? <laughs> yeah. oh, very good. You sound like the real deal to our untrained ears, but how are you getting on? Because it's a big weekend this weekend, isn't it? Yeah. Are, are, you, are you getting kind of thumbs up from, from Catherine and... Rolando. Rolando. Yeah, I am actually. I'm really excited about Sunday. I've got a really good song. So I've just got to... Is it an English stay song? Stay focused. No. Don't be silly. Is it another Italian? <laughs> um, no, German. Oh, German? Oh, oh yeah. it would be multilingual. I've only got a different this. language. I've been Italian all the way through. I've been quite lucky, but... Has it, has, was it easier with the German? Um, it's... The character I'm meant to be is, is a witch. So it's easier to kind of attack it. And in German language. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's listen, harder. let's take a look at how you're faring because we have some exclusive rehearsal footage Ooh. from this weekend's performance, forthcoming performance, that is. And it was, mm. you know, all the uh, the pop singing. That's one thing. But this, I mean, you can see you working it from the start. It's physical, isn't it? Yeah. Opera singing. <laughs> it is. Uh, no, no, it's all that. Yeah, I'm doing that to try and feel it because that's what they're saying. Those little notes, you've got to support everything from down here, which I've never done before. So, and you, you can feel it all moving. It's amazing. The diaphragm. Mm. Yeah. While you, were, while you were watching that, you said, "I sound like a monkey." <laughs> <laughs> it does. Oh. I keep me and my husband keep calling it the monkey song. <laughs> the monkey how, long does it take? how much? How much practice and how much actual time do you put into learning one song? Because it must be really difficult in a different language. It is quite difficult, but most of them we've had like a week and a half. We get them just just in case. So not very long. But this no. is yeah. No, it's not really, and it's. You kind of have to spend the first half of the week just getting the lyrics and yeah. really oh, learning it. You are absolutely it. Oh. amazing. You I have, have to words? say, do, have you surprised yourself? I have surprised myself at how high I can sing. I thought really? I could sing mm. high. I mean, tragedy's quite high, but that the song that I'm doing on Sunday is really like nearly two octaves higher <gasps> than tragedy, apparently. Which wow. is, I'm really, yeah, I that love one, it. The one I'm we saw at the it. clip at the beginning, it was like, you know, like Princess Fiona and Shep, which is higher and higher and higher. <laughs> and then, the, but, but no, but beautifully, it's the soprano voice, but where the birds popped. Do you remember that? Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> do, you have, do you have the words on the night? So if you if you don't remember the words, does it just go? You don't have them on a thing no, or anything to help you? No, there's nothing You have to remember it all. Oh, this no. weekend. Not one, but two of you will be leaving uh, the competition. Oh, leaving just two of you in the final next Sunday. I so, know. so there's ev I mean, everything to kind of sing for this weekend. This, uh, this is the most important week, I think, for me especially. I, I didn't think I'd get past the first week, so I was so nervous and looked terrified as well, apparently. <laughs> um, but I, I just, I don't want to go home. I just want to get to that final. I don't really care what happens after that. But have you have you surprised yourself though? Because you've been out of the limelight for pretty much a decade now. It's a long time. You haven't sung in almost a decade, mm -mm. and here you are back, two babies um, later. I know. Uh, how, how has it made you feel about yourself? It has. I feel like I've give, got a bit of myself back. Actually, you know, I've, I love being a mum and I love being at home with the kids. But this has made me remember why. I came into this business in the first place. Mm. I was a singer, that's all I ever wanted to do. And 
it's made me realise how much I missed it, which, you know. So when are steps getting back together yeah. again then? Because <laughs> <laughs> they're bound to. You're bound to, aren't you? They always do. Well... Come on, don't say you haven't talked about it. We get asked all the time, yeah. constantly. And it's ten years this year since we split, so... Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Talking about getting yourself back together, you did a nude shoot, didn't you? You did? Yes! Totally. I mean, you look fantastic. I'm sorry to inflict that on everybody. There it is. Oh, yeah. Now, that is Minxie and Foxy, and that picture says to me that you feel good in your skin, and that hasn't been the case for a long time, has it? No, it really hasn't, and it's, it's still part of the process, I think, but definitely Pop Star to Pop Star's given me a bit of that back, because it's not been about what I look like anymore, it's about what I can do, and... Mm. You know, I thank everybody who's voted for me at home because mm. it's kind of... I feel like I've got a purpose and I can do you something again. You deserve it because yes. you're fabulous. You are doing so well. Really, are you? Well, listen, let's see how well you are doing. Let's see how well you know your areas from your elbow. <laughs> oh. um, because what we thought we'd do is, is put you to the test. <laughs> with, some, with some professional help. <laughs> Sherry and Carol are going to help you out, aren't you? <laughs> I'm Claire, one of those. It's like being with what the ghost. transformation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's going to happen, Claire, is we're going to play um, some classic tracks, okay. and uh, you can see how much you've learned from the <laughs> opera uh, that you've been Don't studying. Compare, man. Uh, <laughs> Lisa, we're going to help you to act it out. Are you ready, Carol? We're Over to you. Dave, of course we're ready. Of course we're ready. What's the first one? <laughs> right, I want to know what's Should... Carol singing here. Go, Carol. <laughs> Is this soprano, tenor, or bass? Oh, it's the soprano. <laughs> You're right. <gasps> Me. Thank you. Wow, that was good, wasn't it? That was good, Claire. Okay, ready, Claire? What famous opera is Sherry performing a song from? <laughs> From yeah. Marriage of Figaro. <laughs> Is that right? No, it's not. Oh, Barbara of Seville. Oh. 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 Okay. <laughs> Last one. <laughs> which, famous, which famous opera star performed the following song alongside Freddie Mercury? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. 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 I've done all that all day. I oh, know. Oh. Oh. Okay, Claire, any idea on who the female opera star was that performed on that Monster track? Monserrat Kabai. <laughs> Correct! Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Claire, good luck. We think you're doing a marvellous yeah. job. And it's lovely to have you back in the limelight after Thank all this you. time. Claire Richards, Lovely. everyone. Yeah.